Welcome back to another video. So I've been wanting to make this one for a long time now because I've seen some things in the industry for, for a while that I just don't quite agree with and is quite a lot on my mind and some, some things I want to get off my chest. And also I put myself in the client's shoes and I, and I thought to myself, why, why are they, they time after time choosing the wrong trainers for themselves? And it's because they don't know. They don't, if you don't know any different, you don't know. So this is why I want to do make this video and hopefully help someone out that is out there that wants to get a personal trainer and doesn't quite know what to look for. Before we start, I hope the quality is good. It's a front facing camera I'm on here. I wanted to do a nice backdrop like we have here from our bedroom window, but I'm not that good when it comes to YouTube and cameras and everything, just using my iPhone. So I hope the quality is good anyway. So let's get into it. Before we start, the number one thing when it comes to per, uh, picking a personal trainer you want to look at is do you like the person, do you connect with the person, do you get on well with the person after initially meeting them, um, having a chat to them. That's the number one thing because we both, vice versa, both the trainer and the client, we both want to enjoy this journey that we're on. Okay, So that's the number one thing that we need to look out for. So secondly, what it comes down to is what are our goals and then we need to link, link that back to the trainer. So we need to do a little bit of digging with this and we can dig when we first meet the trainer when we want to we wanna basically question everything. You wanna, and the question everything is a good thing because it helps you gain a bit of a better understanding about their knowledge and who they are as a person and what they've done and etc and etc. So yeah, you want to question everything, you want to fire away a lo load of questions that are going to help you um, get a better understanding of if that person is right for you. Because I always say, not every trainer is for every client and not every client is for every trainer. That's what we want to do. Questions, questions, questions. Your initial meetup, you want to ask a load of questions. And then you also want to do a bit of research on their social media profiles. You want to, you want to look at what they've done. If there's any clients that you know that they've trained, you can ask them what they what are they about. And most of the time, you can just tell if if someone's full of shit when you're talking to them. You can tell, but not everyone is is good at sussing this out. And like I always, like I say. This is why I'm making this video because if a, if a client's coming to a personal trainer, they want a personal trainer, they don't know what they're looking for, you know, hence why I'm making this video. If I go to a, a mechanic shop and I, 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 I have no idea about cars and, and I walk in the shop and say, fix my car, my car's broke, they're gonna, they could tell me it's £10,000, they could tell me it's £1,000, I don't know any different. They, they could tell me it's £10,000 to fix and it's not, it's a five minute quick fix and job done. So I don't know what I'm looking for. The way I, the, a, good, a good sign around this is, say, say I'm looking to be a CrossFitter and this person doesn't do CrossFit, why am I going with that person? I, I should go with a, with a trainer that is tagged in specifically CrossFit training, that has a CrossFit background and so on. Or if, if I, if I want to lose muscle, uh, if I want to build muscle, lose, lose fat, then I need to go with someone that has got experience in that field. So there's all different areas that a personal trainer, many different personal trainers, have a have a specific background and you need to search, uh, search for that background but relate it back to your goals so ask yourself what are my goals and then when you go to the personal trainer you can tell them what your goals are but don't tell them initially ask questions figure out what their background is first know your goals in your head figure out what their background is and then you can relate that back and you can say, actually, you're not suited to me because of this, this and this. Or actually, yeah, you are suited to me because of your background and what you do and what you specialize in. So then you want to taste the session. Never sign up to something straight away. You always want to try it out first. So, so you want to have maybe one free session, two free session. All trainers or good trainers should be able to give you this because there's value. If they're a good trainer, there's value in what they're offering. So you you maybe just need to see that first. So have a free session with them, have maybe two free sessions and you're gonna get, you're just gonna gain even more knowledge and a more understanding about that person and what they entail when it comes to their training style and methods and techniques and everything. And then we, we can look at the cost then. So next point is the cost. For me, we want it to be affordable, but also 
how can you put a price on getting to your goals? You know, what 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 are your goals? What are you, what results do you want? And the things if you, if you if you feel like the things that they, this person's going to teach you that you can carry on for the rest of your life, I mean price doesn't really matter too much does it but then if you if you if you're someone that doesn't really care about the results you just want to get out of the house you just want to go to the gym then you can probably choose a, a, a bad trainer and, and a cheap price and all the rest of it but I'm um, this video is not for people like that this is for people who are serious about getting results serious about making a change in their life and they want to just make sure that their money is getting used wisely with a, a good trainer you know so you've met your personal trainer you've asked the questions You've done a bit of research on them. You're now going into your first session or your second free session. And what should you be looking for now? Your knowledge is not good with anything that that trainer is doing now. So you, you don't know anything. You're, you're just fresh in the mind going into this. What we need to look out for is, is the person engaging with you? Are they, are they watching everything? Are they critiquing everything? Are they making sure things are... Or are they just going to stand there one, two three, four, stop timer, or like, we, we need to, to, to know that they they know what they're doing, you know, they're the one in control, they're the one um, talking to you, giving you advice throughout the training session, telling you why we're doing this exercise, why we're doing this, why we're doing that, not just saying, all right, we're going to do this, 10, we'll do 10 reps, blah, 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 one, two, three, no, we want them to explain to us why are we doing 10 reps? Why are we doing this? Them talking to us about the diet, if, if you ask questions about uh, losing weight. We want them to explain everything to us within the same session, within that first session. Because that's going to just basically sell themselves more to you and what the program is going to be like. If you're going in and just doing a stopwatch and counting to 10, you could do that yourself. You can look on YouTube and, and, and get a better job than... Um, from doing that, so that's not so that that, that that the first two sessions are very key in engaging what the person is going to be like. And then lastly, I'll use myself as an example now. So um, this is not an advertisement or anything like that. But for instance, if someone come to me and said they want to do CrossFit, I'm not going to bullshit the person and tell them that I'm into CrossFit and I got a CrossFit background and all the rest of it. I'm going to send them to someone else that does CrossFit. But a lot of people, they just take the money. So if you go to them and you say, oh, I want to do CrossFit, they go, yeah, yeah, I'll just do some CrossFit with you. Well, this is why I made this video and this is why you need to ask all these questions and, and do all these um, steps in order to, to make sure that you're getting value, you're getting the right person, you know? If someone said to me, I want to lose, I want to lose um, fat and build muscle, then that's my background. That's what I specialize in. That's what I've done. I've, I've done a bodybuilding show. I've gone from, from high body fat levels that, and, I've, and I've binged on my diet and then I've cut on my diet and uh, all the rest of it. And I've gone back down to, to sub 10% body fat. You know, I have experience in this. And then I, I've trained clients the same way and it's worked for them. You know, the diets work for them. They've got the results they want. So this is this is my background, yeah? I'm not I'm not I haven't got a background in, in CrossFit or powerlifting even. So so I'm not I'm not gonna to act like I know about all that. But if you ask me about building muscle, losing fat, um, I know exactly how to do it and, and all the things I need to do to 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 go on through that, you know? And that'll come across as I'm talking about it. Whereas if I don't really know I'm do it not talking about with it that also come across so look out for that so what does personal training mean to myself like what what is this job what is the the because in personal training all different personal trainers they have different backgrounds so what does it mean to me and what does it relate to me so the way i see personal training it's like a spiritual um practice so to speak why do we say that yoga is all spiritual and seen as hippie and stuff like that and meditation and we can't say that weight training or resistance training or, or it, it is not the same for me it's a spiritual journey it's a spiritual practice we're going in we're moving our body we're moving our muscles you know we're we're focusing on the mind muscle connection to me it's as well spiritual it's we're not just going in and pushing weight from a to b and we're just picking up this exercise, picking up this weight and doing this and burning the sweat. There's so much more to it than that. You know, we're, we're, we're doing something, we're changing our body, which is just an amazing thing, you know, and, 
I think we need to, to acknowledge that and that's what I like to do with my clients. I like to, to tell them that, think about the exercise as we're doing it and if I see them doing it and they're not really thinking and they're not really engaging the muscle, they're not really stressing the muscle, they're not really focusing on their form, then I will tell them that and I will adjust them and, 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 if, and I will keep adjusting them if we can and we move on to a different exercise, you know? That is the things that I believe this is from my background though, this is how I like to do things and this is what works well for me over the years and this is what's worked well for my clients. So this is the sort of stuff that I do with my clients when I'm in the gym, I'm not just counting to 10, one, two, or go next set, okay, I'm using a stopwatch and I'm not, like, this is, this is what I see time and time again. There's personal trainers out there that not once do they do they they correct someone's form. Not once do they tell them about the squeeze control and the mind muscle connection. When it comes to building muscle, the eccentric rep of the uh, of the rep is the most important. That's what's tearing the muscle fiber the most. Time under tension. If we do uh, three seconds down, or if we do one second down, what do you think is going to tear the most muscle fiber? In turn, build more muscle. The three second time under tension negatives down, you know, but I don't, I don't see these people even telling their clients this and you know why? Because they don't know this themselves. They haven't done the research. This is not their passion. This is not their true passion. Like I've done many different jobs in my life and I'm shit, I was shit at them. I, I, I didn't really, I was blagging it like they're blagging a the personal training, you know? So, so when you find something that's your true passion, that's where you are true you know, everything, experience, knowledge, it's gonna transfer over to the client. And then they're gonna learn so much that they don't need you after that. Like, it's quite a few of my clients that have finished, they've left because I like to think that I've taught them a lot where they, they don't really need me now. They can they can do everything on their own based on, on what their goals are going forward. Maybe they just wanna maintain now. They've built the physique that they want. They just wanna maintain. They know everything, all the tools and everything that they need to, 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 to maintain that. So I don't understand when people that also have a trainer for like two years and stuff, that trainer must be terrible. If you if you if you get a trainer for the program that trainer set with you at the initial time where they said it's gonna take 12 weeks for you to get to this or whatever, after that 12 weeks, you should be able to go on your own then, that you've learned, it's like reading a book, you've learned that book, then you can go and apply it to your, to your own life in your, in your own time and yourself when you go to train yourself. You shouldn't need a trainer forever. So, that's my thoughts on everything when it comes to personal training. I don't know if I've been rambling or if it's come across as good, but anyway, that's my thoughts. If you liked the video, if you've got any other questions when it comes to personal training, drop a comment in the box below and I'll get back to you. I reply to all, all, all my comments on the channel. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video.